This is a procedure. This isn't a drug. This is all natural. Stem cell regenerative therapy is taking out the body's repair cells. That's basically what stem cells are. They're there to repair the body when it's harmed, degeneration. Aging is a degenerative process. So as we get older, our stem cells decrease because they're always repairing. So what we're doing is we're harvesting some of those sleeping stem cells, if you will, that are inside the fat, and then we're sending them back in in the bucket loads to repair. We're trying to raise up um, the amount of stem cells in the inflamed areas so that we can get some healing done. I'm interested in the adult stem cells, the stem cells that are already in our bodies that have come and developed from the embryo. I mean, we all developed from that, but it's divided several times, now at least eight times before I'm interested in those cells. And what they are is these adult stem cells are repair cells that are sitting in our body. They sit in our tissues, they can sit in our bone marrow, they're in our peripheral blood, you know, they're in our fat, which I really like. And, and if you took a cup full of blood, a sample of blood and took a cup full, you might have 100,000 stem cells there. If you took a cup full of bone marrow, you have about a million stem cells. If you take a cup full of fat, you have one to two billion. So of course, it's a lot easier for me, a lot less painful for the patient to harvest some fat and to process that and use those stem cells. We're photoactivating those stem cells, waking them up, injecting them back into the joints where they're needed and intravenously. First improvement may not be in their mobility, but it certainly is in the pain response. These dogs are out of pain. Evers and his colleagues at Value Vet have documented cases of dogs once struggling to walk, suddenly running and playing again, just 30 days later. But he cautions, there are limitations. It's all wonderful technology, but not every animal qualifies. Evers says there are three hoops or tests your dog must pass. First, Blood work, make sure those kidneys and liver are healthy. X-rays, and finally, a cancer screening. The likely candidates are going to be those pets that are suffering from arthritis, uh, ligament or cartilage damage or tendon damage, um, as well as hip dysplasia. Come on, Sammy. Let's go for a walk. Let's go, baby. Oh. Come on, Sammy. Let's go for a walk. Yeah, it was difficult. difficult. It yes. is difficult. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's uh, uh, let's walk. And we're gonna come right up, right up here. Come on, Sam. Come on. You see a mom, is it okay? Oh I know. On a scale of one to five, I want to ask you, on a scale of one to five, with five being just a total disability, where would you put that number today? The, 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 you know, where the grease on the way he's been walking, getting up and I would moving. say on a on a good day he's probably a three. On a good and, day he's a three. Yeah, okay. and, a, and mostly I would say like a two. I mean he's Oh you mean, he's very, you mean now two's getting better than a three. Oh now, no, no, okay. I mostly go, he's a no, four though. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. overall And there are other times when he really is you know, I think weather and everything else affects him just like it would in a, a sure. human and it seems like So probably overall we're gonna grade him at a four. Mm -hmm. Just I would by the way he's walking. Sometimes they feel so good. I know. You told me to watch out for that. So I've, been, I've tried 
That's a little loose. Oh, yeah, yeah well, everything is like yeah. scraping along. Yeah, instead of this little small stick, nice wide strides. I think he's doing much better. For 30 days out? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I, I like his attitude. I, I don't see pain in his. I, well, his demeanor, and I said that to my husband. It's almost like somebody who's, you know, been to the pain You've got relief for their back or something. <laughs> you know, and you don't realize you're in pain until it's gone. You know how much. You can tell the difference. Uh -huh. the, the, the look in your eye, the brightness. Mm. Really Love that food, don't you? Yeah, he knows that food, doesn't he? <laughs> in your estimation, are you seeing, continuing to see an improvement in him? Yes. Mobility-wise? Mobility uh-huh. Yeah. And uh, is he seeing, he's on no medication at all at this point, right? Good. Good. No. He's getting up, getting down, great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, he looks happy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
Um, 100% better. Right? Yep. Yeah, I have no complaints. This is 30 days post injection, and the biggest thing is that she can get up better. Oh, yeah. She's jumping on the bed, so. Jump out on the bed? Oh, goodness. <laughs> Honey, don't jump on the bed. When did that before? Not for a long time. I actually got them stairs so they can go up. Yeah. But she can go up from the other students to leaps. I mean, leaps skip, up there, skips skip, the home. Yeah. So she goes down the other way, but you know, not so often does she jump down, but she definitely had a standing position. He was totally deaf before this. Really? And now he can hear certain sounds. It's, I mean, it's, it's obvious. So, um, wow, his, that's, that's his quality of life has just increased tremendously. I'm so glad to hear. Is he on any medication at all? No. I love it. I love it. So you think he's happier? He's definitely less happy. pain. Without a doubt, less pain. He walks areas that we just have to carry him everywhere. Yeah. And now. Uh, you know, I take the other one, other dogs on walk. I take golden retriever on walks, and I, I'll let him down, and he'll actually walk along with him a little ways. I love it. It's, it's I wonderful. Love it. I love it. He it looks bright and happy. It, it's a blessing. It, 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 it just is. It's, it's, it's wonderful. Oh, good. That is. Uh, I appreciate you coming all the way over here and. Letting